tires, tires, and more tires. I've got a ton of them. What I've got right here are a brand new set of Crawler Predator compounds on Team Garage Hat Capper wheels. So inside of these are 4.25 Little Nova foams. The front, I used just the inner part of the CI foam and the stock foam that came with it to give it a little bit of stiffness, but it's still really soft. On the back, I just simply put the 4.25s in it. The reason, I want tire deflection, but I don't want very much tire roll. So that's what we're testing on this. I'm gonna show you this on the table, and we're gonna get right outside of the rocks. Take a look. So here we are. Not bad, they look like there's, they, these will conform. You can still feel the two stage in there. You feel it get hard, but you have all this right here to absorb and wrap. On the back with the actual CI medium foams, definitely quite a bit softer back there. So we'll just have to see how this works out. I like to have a little bit stiffer foam up front for the sole reason it gives me a little bit more accurate steering. I can deal with a little bit of drift on the back, but the front, I really need that to go where I want it to be. So let's go and get this thing powered up, out to the rocks and see what they got. So we're gonna kick this off right now with some rocks, of course, right? All right, tires, the back tires are definitely flexing. Hopefully we can see that a little bit. Fronts are working pretty good. Hung up on a differential right there. Look at that. Now the noise you're hearing is from the Holmes BRX LESC. It just kind of makes that noise. Now it's worth noting I don't have the overdrive in the front right now as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing how these tires are conforming. The back is doing great. The front seems to look like it's doing good. Oh, I also want to point out the, uh, I forgot to mention this, the front wheels actually have the brass inserts. The back ones have the aluminum. Kind of give me a little bit more forward bias. Look at that wrinkle right there. All right, we're gonna get this up. So far, I'm liking them. That front tire wrinkling, doing its thing. Now, I notice only the tread is deforming. The actual sidewalls are holding up really good. So I like that. See right there, I've got pressure on it. But you can see it's obviously not going to the edge of the wheel. So we're good there. I like this setup. I actually do. Now, I used to go with the uh, much more solid foams, you know, to where you really didn't have much deflection at all. But times change. Looking at very little side roll on that. The back is looking good. There we go. Now, of course, we're easing up to the ultimate side hill challenge. We've got the nasty right over here. So let's try some dig. See how that's going to work. Let's see what we got over on this side over here. Looks good. Okay, time to get into the nasty. And we're going to ease off into it again looking for tire deflection look at that front one right there absorbing that nice and good there Let's see if we can get that far right side that's a real touchy line to get i can actually tell i don't have the overdrive in here Here. There we go. Set that right down. Look at that tire. Look at that conformation. Conformation. Now we kind of skipped the rock there, but still, we're still on the course. 
still doing good. The tire is actually, oh, you guys gotta see this. How's this? Let's see if I can get that in here good. The tire tread has actually rolled and even though it's on the side, you actually have tire tread holding it right there. So that's good. I like seeing that. Now we're going to see if I can make the transition across the crack of doom. And if I can keep the front right side in the crack. Yes, sure did. Now we're going to ease it over here. Let's see here. So we got that tire conforming. Awesome. What do we have over here? This tire. Beautiful. I like this setup. I really like these foams in here. Now we've got quite a bit of tire roll right here. So you got that. Let's look at it from the downside. Still good. The uh, inner two-stage foams are doing their jobs perfectly. Yet the tire is able to conform very well. Whoops. Oh, I like this setup. Yeah, I think it done good with this foam combo, with this foam setup. I like that. Let's give climb time a try. This is one of those climbs that can shut you down and call you names and stuff if you don't watch it. Uh, get right up on the edge here. I can definitely tell I do not have the overdrive in here. The overdrive, I do believe, would actually have hooked that, which I've done before, but these, I'm not getting that hook right now. See if I can get a little bit more over that way. There we go. Using that dig allowed that front right tire to really get a grip on it. Wow. Let's go take a look at these tires real quick. Hopefully it won't roll back. Gripping good, great contact patch. This one right here is looking well, looking good. Let's look at the inside of it. Yeah, I like these foams. Beautiful. Now this climb here is more about traction, tire compound, and all that, we should be able to see some nice deflection on the backs. Both are rolling very nicely. Front obviously is light because, well, you're climbing. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, that was uh, pretty easy. Now let's see if I can get just the right bump here. <laughs> that was easy. That was easy. Now let's watch for tire deflection on a side hill. All right, let's get a little closer here. Doing good, doing good. Obviously the, the light side isn't doing a whole lot. The back side right over here. Yeah, doing good. Notice the wheels are still up, so yeah, that's perfect. I like it. While we're here, let's go ahead and try a little uphill dig and see what we get. Oh yeah. Did I spin the tire in the wheel or did I spin the wheel in the tire? I think I may have just a little bit.
I think it fixed itself. It's a good little, little, good little climb right here. Now let's see where we're coming down at. I didn't want to do this little climb, but uh, uh, well, things kind of happen, and here we are. So. <laughs> Woo. This area hasn't been manicured and set up, you know. Woo. Awesome. I got to tell you, I think I got it on the first try. I like how the tires are conforming. I like how they're wrapping. I like how the sidewalls are holding up when it gets into that inner foam. So, now I've done the foams that were really hard, you know, where you have just about this much tread flex, you know. Now, the side hilling, wonderful with that kind of uh, that kind of a setup. But if you're trying to get up a ledge and the tire is really hard, what you're going to do is the tire won't absorb the hit. It'll just hit it, boom, and transfer to the axle, through the links, through the shocks, right into the chassis, and then you have the whole vehicle bounce back and could actually roll you. Having the tire able to absorb the impact to a certain degree is a benefit quite a bit, especially when you're trying to bounce up a hill or something along those lines. You know, you're trying to bounce up a ledge. It makes a big difference, believe it or not. It really does. But by not getting that mass and momentum to the axle and all that, that's kind of a cool thing. You should try it a little bit with a real soft tire and a ledge, you know, just kind of bounce it a little bit and then put on a real stiff tire and see what happens. It'll come on over, or at least it'll try to. We have a, a climb back there, the uh, little spiral staircase deal. I've seen guys try that with really hard competition tires, you know, really good solid foams in there. They just bounce off of it. They can't hardly get up it. You see a guy come up with some box stock axial or uh, red cat tires, soft foams and all that, walk right up. it. I've seen it over and over again. It makes a lot of sense. And I know a lot of you guys want the stiffer on the back, the softer on the front. If all I did were climbs, if that was it, then absolutely I would be the exact same way. I would also have everything forward to get as absolute much forward bias as possible. But when you're in competition, you have those climbs, plus you've got the downs, you've got the side hills and all that. So you gotta have a well-rounded vehicle for that. In that description, I'm gonna link up these tires right here. A-Main, eBay, Amazon, uh, they have them. Um, Red Cat, I'll put a link in there for that, but they don't quite have these tires, but they are an affiliate link. Use the affiliate links to support the channel. Every little bit helps. It gives a bit of a commission, but I'll put a link to all this stuff. The Spare Time Hobbies chassis, the Holmes motor, if I can find this. It's kind of hard to get, find those in stock. The ESC, the wheels, all this. It'll all be in the description. Use that. Use those links, like I said, to support the channel. So guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. If you guys like what you see, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. If you really, really like what you see, consider clicking on that join button down below. With that, you can actually become a channel member. Members get early viewing of many of the videos and, you know, a little bit more personalized. Guys, thank you all for watching.